SVT is a, um, a technique that was started by a woman named Lee Silverman who had Parkinson's and her therapist found that when she had speech, she was getting speech therapy and they found that in her speech therapy that she benefited by being able to focus on talking loud. And so uh, her family gave a lot of um, money to start a, a Parkinson Center. It was called the Lee Silverman Parkinson Center um, where they could treat patients for Parkinson's with LSVT with this idea of being loud. So they got speech therapy. And a physical therapist saw the results that they were getting and said, if they get those kind of results with LSVT loud, if we took that same idea and applied it to the physical therapy setting, then uh, maybe we would have them move in big amplitude movements and see if that worked. And they found the same kind of results with um, what they now call LSVT big. So it's a series of several exercises, seven exercises and walking and some other things where um, the person does exercises twice a day, every day, and they see a physical therapist four times a week for four weeks and, or a physical therapist assistant. And um, they're led through the exercises and walking and their focus is always on big amplitude. So in Parkinson's, the two problems are slow movements and small amplitude movements. And if we can, what we found is that if we can emphasize just amplitude, if we can just emphasize moving big, that the slowness takes care of itself. And uh, so this program has been around for a long time, but um, Stephanie and I have recently been certified to do LSVT for people that are homebound. And um, it's a great, really great beneficial program for people with Parkinson's. Uh, PT goes in and evaluates the, the patient um, and then decides if they think they're right for it. Um, and then we set up the four consecutive days a week with the patient. Um, so whether that be Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday. Um, it's usually about an hour treatment and we go in and uh, depending on how um, active or functional the patient is, um, we determine which exercises work best. Um, so we can do the exercises lying down, sitting, or standing. Um, and there's, like she said, the seven exercises that you do. Um, a couple of them are holding exercises. You hold for 10 seconds. Everything you do, you, you smack loud, you stomp loud, um, and everything's just big. So then once you determine where they are, you can have them lie down if they need to start that way, um, and then they'll progress. They can progress to the sitting and the standing, um, and you just kind of go from there. And then at the end of those four weeks, you just kind of see where you are, and the PT comes back in and reevaluates the, the situation and where you're at. I've experienced eight weeks. Um, I know that after the first four weeks, if the patient is doing well, um, you can discharge them, and if they start to um, <clears throat> Kind of have a setback you can do kind of a recalibrating um, session mm -hmm. where the PT comes back in and can mm -hmm. see um, kind of how they are and, and you can start the four weeks over or mm -hmm. just kind of do the exercises again for a certain amount of time to right. see. The idea would be for most people that um, if they do four weeks and they learn the exercises that this is something they'll do the rest of their life and once they learn the exercises, basically they know how to do that. So four weeks for many people would be enough. Uh, my first success story would be uh, with a patient named John. Um, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's about four years ago, and um, he was having a lot of trouble with falling, uh, balance, muscle strength, uh, freezing when he was walking. And um, we started the LSVT program um, eight weeks ago, we did an extra four weeks um, just to kind of mm -hmm. help him out a little more. Uh, and he, he started, um, he had a, a tug score, which is a timed up and go test. Um, and anything below 14 seconds is great, um, puts you at a less risk of fall. 
um, and he was at two minutes and 10 seconds when he did that. And the tug test is you start a timer, you stand up, you walk 10 feet, you come back and you sit down, the timer stops. So he was doing that in 10 minutes, and, or two minutes and 10 seconds. And uh, at the end of the four weeks, he was at 35 seconds. And uh, we were doing a sit to stand test, which is normally they time you for 30 seconds. Um, you sit down and stand up from a, a normal level chair as many times as you can in that 30 seconds. He got two using his arms um, at the beginning and he was at 12 when we were done. So pretty good with him. A, a personal goal of his was to um, go to Walmart, get out of the car, walk into the um, scooter and um, <clears throat> not have any issues and be able to do it in a timely manner without worrying about falling. And we were able to achieve that as well, um, about 100 feet and he he did it perfect. Nice. You want to talk about his wife's feeling about that? Yeah, at the at the beginning when he kind of mentioned this goal, um, his wife was really unsure about it, um, very anxious about it, uh, just because of the falls. And the patient does tend to get a little anxious around crowds just because you know, when you walk into Walmart, some people aren't paying attention and we'll just kind of walk in. So she's very nervous about that. Um, and she finally decided that she was going to let him go. She was going to try to not be anxious about it and let him go. And then when I volunteered to kind of go with him at all, she felt a lot better. And we chose a day that wasn't busy, day and time that wasn't busy. Um, and we were able to do it. People walked past us and, and he paid no attention. He was able to just get right in and get to his, his cart and go. Then lastly, I would say what people should know is that uh, now Friedenthal Home Health has the people that are certified in LSBT big. So uh, in St. Joe, you could always do that if you could get to an outpatient facility in the last 10 years, that's been true. But now we have the capability of providing LSBT in the home for people that are homebound. So those first steps for somebody that has Parkinson's that's that's homebound, now we can specifically treat that with this technique that's been proven to be really effective.